Hi everyone, and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show to give you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from Indie Productions, and today I'll be reviewing 2014's horror feature, A Record of Sweet Murder, written and directed by Japanese indie filmmaker Koji Shiraishi, and recently picked up for distribution by Unearth Films. Thank you, Koji and Unearth, for sharing your film with us. <laughs> So Young, a young South Korean journalist portrayed by Kobe Kim and her Japanese cameraman played by Koji himself, are invited by a young man, Sang Joon, played by Ji Wook Young, to meet in a dilapidated city apartment. The circumstances of Sang Joon reaching out to Su Young are unusual and worrisome. Sang Joon is a fugitive on the run from a mental facility who has reportedly murdered 18 people since his escape from the authorities. He is also Su Young's childhood friend, which prompts her to accept the meeting and to bring her Japanese cameraman with her to Sang Joon's request. Journalist Kim So Yeon. In the fall of 2000, a journalist was arrested for killing 18 people and now he has been arrested for Su Young and her cameraman meet with Sang Joon, and from there he begins to tell them about his actions and their purpose. I can't really say more about the plot for fear of spoiling. Let's just say that from the second they walk into that apartment, all characters involved are in for a massively life-defining experience. There are several aspects of the storyline that can be interpreted as some sort of social commentary. The way the film is shot can relate to the way we see things today. All through a camera screen, giving us all kinds of material and reality, we probably shouldn't be watching, yet we can't look away. The film deals with friendship, religion, love, belief in forces beyond us, right and wrong, and redemption. Again, going into detail will most likely enter spoiler territory. The camera, helmed by Koji, is acknowledged as part of the story as the whole plot is delivered through it. Koji built a roller coaster plot that is beautifully designed to keep us on the edge of our seats, and to achieve that with a story that largely takes place in a single and small location is no mean feat. The plot begins with many questions raised, and with each scene it progresses and exponentially increases the intrigue as the story unveils without a single dull moment. A record of sweet murder is seemingly filmed with a single continuous shot, and I say seemingly as a form of respect, as the film is jam-packed with a lot of camera movement, intricate action sequences, and very precise frame staging throughout, ingeniously disguised as casual documenting. Logically, to hold an 86-minute continuous shot with that much going on can be parallel to succeeding in threading a hundred needle points on the first try, unless Koji didn't do 10,000 takes of the whole film to get it right, because every time something goes wrong you'd need to shoot the whole film from scene one, I would say with admiration that the film's edit was surgically constructed with seamlessly concealed cuts to give the illusion of a continuous shot, reminiscent of how key sequences were shot in films like The Villainess. Other than the captivating premise and interesting story structure, a record of sweet murder elegantly incorporated a plethora of moving parts in almost flawless harmony. That of course includes very accurate performances from the cast and crew, including action coordination by Ricky Jun and special effects by Alex Koch. To Koji and team, all that is left to say is well done. A record of sweet murder gets an 8 out of 10 on the look at me, I'm a film critic scale. The film's available for purchase via Unearthed Films as well as a variety of other sources, links included. Until next time, keep supporting indie film, watch, share, spread the word. My name is Asaf Angel, and thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next Thursday.